Hi guys, this is Refat Al Muki, and today I'm gonna be solve a job costing math under request of Rudra Mondal, a follower and a student of mine. And to understand job costing, today I'm gonna be solve Jan 8, 2005 of IAL Accounting Unit 1. All right, so let's move forward with the question. As we can see that in that particular year and in that particular question, we have an Ahmed Skaraj question where the information regarding his monthly rent, then his quarterly heat and light power cost, licensing cost, equipment depreciation information, bookkeeping cost, all the informations are given in that particular question. And using this information, we have to find out the hourly cost for Ahmed. Now, what is an hourly cost? Hourly cost means how much does no, how much does each hour of Ahmed's business cost? And to find that out, first of all, we need total cost or over of the business. And second, we need number of hours he has been productive. So uh, I'll be doing in front of you right now. Remember, this is a side note, which I'm going to use so things are easier for you. So if you do that, it's going to be easier. So remember, that is the formula. Hourly cost, always remember, hourly cost is equals to total overhead divided by number of productive hours all right so to find the question or find the answer of the first question of 5a calculate the hourly cost for ahmed first we need to find total overhead and then we have to find number of productive hours and then use this formula to find the answer of number 5a. So let's start with it. So while doing a job costing math or finding any overhead, we have one simple, very simple format. And that is we're going to have a column where we're going to write all the values of all the cost. And using the information given here, or using the information, we'll try to write down all the cost or quote all the cost and the answers and find total cost. So remember, we are trying to find out the total overhead first. All right. So let's go through the information. So among all the informations and all the costs, one of the major cost is rents. Says that he rents the garage premises for 750 per month. So and we have to find out the hourly cost for the whole year. So if a garage rent is 750 per month, then rent for the whole year will be 750 to 12. Let me do it for you. It's rent. And we're going to write here 750 into 12. All right. Let me repeat. Per month rent is 750. And for 12 months, it's going to be 750 into 12. And the total value of 750 into 12 will be 9,000. So we got the rent. Next, we they talked about heat and light and power cost. Average 500 pound per quarter. Per quarter means three months. All right. So if heat and light, so we're going to write a heat, light, and power. And as per the given information, it says 500 per quarter, which means 500 into 4, because there are 4 quarters in a month, in a year, sorry. There are 4 quarters in a year, and each quarter cost is 500. So 500 into 4 will be equals to 2,000. So heat and light and power cost is 2,000 total. Next is licensing and sundry expenses cost 3100 per annum. So we're going to write them down. Licensing. Sing and sundry expense. That would be 3100 pound as per the given information. Next, they talked about equipment. They said equipment cost was 15,000 and has a life of 10 years 
with no residual value now if you're good at accounting and depreciation you'll know that since this equipment cost fifteen thousand dollars and it will last for 10 years so per year depreciation will be fifteen thousand by ten which i'll be showing you remember equipment is an asset not an expense and depreciation of equipment is always an expense a fixed cost so we're gonna write here depreciation of equipment and as you all know total cost of the equipment has been 15,000 pound and it lasts for 10 years so it's gonna be 15,000 pound divided by 10 the answer will be 1500 pound so we already got a lot of fixed costs including rent heat and light and power which is 2000 licensing and sundry expense 3100 and depreciation of equipment 1500 all right now let's look into what happens uh, ahmed needs to earn 1500 pound per month to meet his personal needs which means uh 1500 pound per month is a fixed cost for the company because ahmed is working there and if ahmed does employ someone else to work for him he still have to pay 500 pounds so that's the labor charge for ahmed which is 1500 per month so if ahmed needs 1500 or the fixed personal need of 1500 pound per month then for 12 months it's gonna be 1500 into 12 and the answer to this question will be eighteen thousand dollars or eighteen thousand pound please take a look at the whole thing again that is we are trying to find out total cost because to find out hourly cost we need total overhead and number of productive hours we are trying to find out total overhead using this particular structure where we wrote all the overheads one by one rent nine thousand heat light and power two thousand licensing and sundry expense three thousand one hundred depreciation of equipment 1500 and ahmed's uh, personal expense is 18000 remember since ahmed owns the business and runs the business his minimum drawing should be considered as an expense or an overhead for the business as well now if we add everything up the answer will be 9000 plus 2000 is going to be 11000 14100 uh, 1500 18000 the total value will be 36,000. It's going to be 36,000 in total. That is your total cost or overhead. All right. So any confusion so far? We have found, we already found total overheads. Okay. We have found total overheads now now we're gonna have to try and time try we'll try to find out number of productive hours now, according to the question look at p in number uh information on seven and eight in information seven it says that the garage is open for 50 hours per week for 48 weeks per year so uh number of hours number of productive hours will be as is given in information is 50 hours per week into 48 weeks per year so it's gonna be 50 into 48 50 hours per week 48 weeks per year but there is a problem here it is estimated that Ahmed spends 75 percent of his time undertaking repair work which will be charged to customers so let's not make things complicated what we have to do is that out of the whole time for in which the garage is open he spends only 75 percent of his total time working properly or working productively so whatever the total hour we find we have to multiply that with 75 percent because that is the actual amount of time he is productive now, if we multiply 50 into 40 and 75 percent, we will get 1800 hours. 1800 hours. All right. So 
now we already we have we found number of productive hours we found total overheads now we can find out our hourly cost very easily so our hourly cost will be total overhead divided by number of productive hours which is equals to we already know 36,000 hour is a total overhead or total cost so we're going to write here 36,000 hour 36,000 pound sorry my bad 36,000 pounds divided by 1800 hours so if we now if you put them in the calculator you're going to get 20 the value will be 20 which is 20 pound per hour so here you go you got the answer for your first question that the calculate the hourly cost for ahmed and the hourly cost for ahmed is 20. how we found that out i'll repeat i'll explain again first of all formula for hourly cost is total overhead divided by number of productive hours we've tried to find out or try to find out the total overheads first as you can see we according to the information given we found rent 715 to 12 because of 12 months heat and light said 500 per quarter so 500 into 4 licensing is 3100 given depreciation they give depreciation equipment cost is 15,000 and it will last for 10 years so 15,000 by 10 is 1500 and Ahmed person expense is 18,000 we're gonna draw or add up all the fixed expenses and found out the total over is 36,000 and number of productive hours is also found from the given information because they said the garage in number 7 they said the garage is open for 50 hours per week for 48 weeks per year so here you go 50 hours per week 48 weeks per year and it's productive for 75 percent only so into 75 percent if we do the calculation the answer will be 1800 hours so hourly cost will be total overhead divided by number of productive hours which is equal to 36,000 divided by 1800 which is 20 pound per hour so here you go we already found the answer to question number one or the first question of this particular problem Next, we're going to be doing number B, where they ask for quotation for a customer. All right. So, uh, if you go, if you turn the page, you will see that a quotation for a customer is asked for where the vehicle parts will be 70 and the other things will be 